Activity. Erecting a right-angled coin in brick. Loading out materials that you require. Allowing minimum 600 millimeters for working space. Check the floor for level. Mark approximate position of walling using chalk or mortar screed. Erect first course, gauge, level, plumb, and range. Check each measurement length you have been given. You could mark this onto the builder's square. Place builder's square on top and check for square. This first course will raise the corner six courses. It is important that you understand the methods used to determine this. Two methods can be used. One. The number of bricks on the first course will determine the courses to be raised, provided there is only a half brick difference in each leg. As you can see, there are six bricks on the first course, so this corner will be raised six courses. 2. Multiply the smallest leg by 2, and this will give the total courses the corner will be raised. The shortest leg on this corner is 3 bricks. Therefore, 3 multiplied by 2 equals 6 courses. The second method is probably the better one for you to remember, as it can be utilized with stopped end corners. Procedure to construct is gauge, level, Plum and range for each course. Your brick hand should be closest to the wall at all times. When setting the corner brick, sight down the corner of each side by closing one eye. This will align the brick to more or less its final position. Use of your eye is very important when erecting a corner. You will improve with experience. Inspect each brick for good arises and face. When plumbing the corner, the level is positioned approximately 25 millimeters from the corner. Bottom of the level being kept in position with your foot. Always face your level from the corner when plumbing. Never hit the face of the brick with the trowel. All procedures to be followed to completion. Remember to plumb the tail ends. Don't hit your level when leveling. 
Joints on the rear should be as full as the front. Remember, the surplus mortar from the front and the rear will provide your next cross joint. Keep all tools from under your feet. Attempt to keep under your feet clean at all times. Work methodically and efficiently. The various methods of applying the cross joint should be practiced constantly until you have mastered the technique. On completion, check all ranging. Jointing. Joint finish to this wall is half round. Joint the cross joints first. Remember, any filling of joints that may be required is done with the jointing tool. Complete the bed joints, always working away from the corner, ensuring the corners are full. Ideally, striking once only. Inspect for any joints you may have missed. Check for mouse ears. Rejoint if necessary. Remove surplus with your trowel flush to the wall. Don't brush too early. Look what happens if you do. Too many bricklayers have a habit of brushing too early, causing unsightly brickwork. 